story. The chairperson of the student funding scheme, NESFAS, is set to address the public. This comes after weeks of turmoil and protest in various campuses. NESFAS is set to update about uh, its new allowance payment method, defunding of some students, and streamlining of student accommodation. ENC reporter Theo Machele is attending the briefing. Uh, Theo, good afternoon. Uh, can you tell us what happened, uh, what's happening there in that briefing? Well, uh, the briefing just ended, Braden, and uh, Mr. Ernest uh, Koza, who's the head of the uh, board, the NFSA's board, was just addressing the media and just uh, uh, cre uh, creating some clarity as to the standpoint uh, or from NFSA's, where they stand when it comes to the protests that have been happening throughout uh, the country uh, with various university students not happy with their latest payment method, the direct payment method. Now, the first thing that he, he said was the fact that with this direct payment method this is not a new thing and apparently this is something that has been discussed uh, with various organizations including uh, uh, the heads of uh, universities all around the country uh, back in 2022 and he just gave us a bit of history as to where does this start from uh, this is what he had to say uh, in terms of the history If I were to raise just one um, issue that was raised again and again, the issue of the, accommod uh, the, the accommodation cap, which is kept at 4,500. We must not look at it marginally. It's bigger than that. The accommodation cap talks to a bigger problem. And one of those problems is the land question in South Africa. Why is it that poor people should pay 9,000 rands in Rondebosch, in Bramfontein, in Hatfield, in Stellenbosch? Where do you expect the son or daughter of a teacher to pay 9,000 rands a month for accommodation? And I'm referring to these categories because some of them don't qualify within the 350,000 uh, 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 bracket that constitute uh, the criteria of allocating our, our funds to students. This is where we expect our academics, our leaders of universities, to come in and make constructive inputs on how to deal with this. We, 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 we frown upon student leaders who have got no shame carrying placards and shouting they want the accommodation cap to go on. How do you explain carrying a placard and say you want to pay more? Who has ever seen that? How do you, how do you explain that? Theo, I understand the matter of uh, this new methodology of direct payments was also uh, addressed at this briefing. W what, did, what did they say? Well, uh, Mr. Enes Koza continued uh, to say that uh, this method was actually meant to alleviate some of the issues that uh, were, were had by uh, the NFSA's organization throughout the years, and issues of corruption and funds actually not reaching the students that are supposed to uh, receive these funds. And he continued to say that uh, it was actually a call from the students themselves and some of the universities uh, to have a new method that would uh, actually create a, a more close relationship between NFSAs and the recipients of the funds uh, instead of having a method that has to go through uh, other organizations that might might actually not end up not giving the students their money and Another thing that had happened is that many other organizations were weighing in on this issue of uh, the direct payment. And earlier on, uh, COSATU had released a statement saying that NFSAS is actually infamous uh, for having uh, de delayed payments to the students. And also, it's also infamous for having... Uh, 
actually not uh, taking back money from students who actually deserve to be having that money. And now when I asked him a, a response to the statement, he actually did not give us a clear answer and he was saying that uh, he is not going to respond to this uh, issue right now and he wishes that Kosatu had spoken to him first before they actually released that statement. But then he never actually addressed the issues that Kosatu had, be, had addressed within that statement. Uh, here's his answer to when I asked him about the Kosatu statement. Between September 2021 and September 2022, NESFA's chief executive officer, Mr. Andy Lenongogo, met um, and had engagements with uh, several stakeholders. This included USAF, uh, this included student organizations, uh, and all other affected stakeholders. Among the issues that the CEO discussed with stakeholders was the introduction of direct payment uh, and taking over student accommodation during a meeting uh, held on the 15th of September 2022. In this meeting, these matters were introduced to universities, the uh, vice chancellors, and this was also introduced at the previous meeting as well. We, we must emphasize at the outset that we are therefore worried that the disturbances in question are attributed to an insinuation that NESVAS is imposing a system uh, that has not been properly conversed with all relevant stakeholders. As a matter of fact, we pride ourselves in being an organization that promotes accessibility and consultation, and the evidence is there for us to see. 